so we're going to the library library mm -hmm. there's this book that i really want so it's the one from that book series i was reading and i said that oh the, the animals the animals the werewolves you mean yes Um, we came back to my house real quick because my sister has to get her work clothes on so I can take her to work and she's already going to be late at this point. So I couldn't get the book that I originally went there for. They only have one copy because it, it just came out. So there's only one copy at my public library and um, I couldn't find it. And I had a librarian help me find it and she couldn't find it either, so. But online it says that the copy should be there. So, I don't know, they probably misplaced it or something. So I put it on hold, might as well. So whenever they do find it, I can just go back and like, be like, oh, dibsies, so. Anyways, I got other two books instead, which is what took me a little longer because I, I really wanted to leave with a book. Uh, I used to read a lot, like every day, and then I stopped doing that, but I kind of want to get back to doing like my regular hobbies. So, I got this one. It's called Magic for Liars. It's about um, an investigation at a, witch, a school of witchcraft and wizardry, or a hidden school of witchcraft and wizardry, so. There's that. I really like the cover, so that's what drew me. Definitely the cover. They say it don't judge a book by its cover, but like the the cover really gets me. So I was like, okay, this might be cool. So I got that. And then I got this one. It says the Mitford Trial. Um cover also got me, not gonna lie, it's very artsy. And it's about a whodunit mystery novel starring some lady's maid or whatever, on a cruise ship, I think, or some ship that they're on. So, the other two that I got. Where is my sister? I've already been talking for two minutes straight and my sister is nowhere to be found yet. She should have like threw that shit on and just like ran outside. Will and Alexis pulled up literally like they just like pulled up and I was like what the heck <laughs> they said they recognized my car so they knew it had to be me and we're gonna go meet up at the car wash so which is like our hangout place where me and the boys always hang out so I'm gonna go over there Lexus. Where's my handbar, bro? Little bitch. Love you. You sprayed it? Yes, he sprayed it. You better chill out. I take that shit. Sorry. Oh, Look at this nigga. oh shit. Bro, Young bro. black stepper. <laughs> it's not even on his ear. Yo, <laughs> it's bro. on his head. <laughs> oh, man. You slapped his head. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bro, stop. I'm a dad. Dude. <laughs> He's pointing it backwards. Dad, <laughs> 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 He's pointing it backwards. Go. No, 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 no. Go, Aiden. Come here. Oh, you. my. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, let me put my airbag on. I won't do it. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? I don't know. What's up, nigga? I got tire cleaner, nigga. What the fuck is he doing, bro? Oh, you haven't seen it? No. I just stayed here waiting for the boys to get back from getting food and then Aiden got here, so I just stayed a bit a little bit longer to hang out with Aiden. Sorry, I was looking at a car. They have really nice cars that come here to this car wash. Oh fuck, this shit doesn't work for me. And so I called 
I called um, Sophia, which is a friend of mine. She lives in Orlando though, so I rarely ever see her since to drive. And uh, she told me that I can come over. So I'm coming over to her apartment. Oh, into your toes. just at Sophia's apartment as you saw from the earlier clip we just watched some videos on YouTube and we talked and we chilled and we ate a bunch of snacks and now I'm going to Noor to meet up with my boyfriend it's like a 30-35 minute drive so I will check back in when I get there I'll be paying that I make it home, I can't see my myself. I'll be paying that I make it home, I can't see my myself.